everyone, this is Amina Freya Fayaz and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making a wreath which can be either turned into a wall hanger or a photo frame using the following supplies. So let's get started. We'll be using this octagon shape cardboard. You can use nearly any shape that you desire. But I cut this by cutting sides of the square. Then we'll be needing cray papers, some cutters for the cardboard and scissors and glue, either liquid or a uh, solid glue and some decoration ornaments which is optional uh, like flowers or any sequences and hot glue We now proceed to join another octagon inside this octagon and cutting it out Now cut the cray paper into squares, small squares or bigger depends on how much fluffier you want this to be. As I've mentioned earlier, this part is totally optional. You can go for either sequences, flowers or even nothing as per your preferences. So here comes the most important part, spread the glue over a small section of the cardboard and take a pen or a pencil and take the center of the grey paper, wrap it around the pencil and then paste it onto the cardboard, wait for a couple of seconds before you take your pencil out and as you go forward it will become easier and faster. Now we gotta do the same process throughout the whole cardboard.
So the fluffiness of this weed depends on the size of the square we are using and the width of the tool that pencil we are using. So the broader the marker or the pencil it is, the faster it will take and the more fluffy it will get. And if you use a less width tool like I have used this pencil, it will take more time but it will give you a compact and tight effect. done with our wreath or a wall hanging. I decided to take this one more step further and make this into a painting or a photo frame. Here I just used my painting that I did earlier and then stuck it to the back like this with a tape. We could use a cling wrap or a clear transparent a sheet in the front to make the front layer and use some black or any other chart material to cover the back part. But to make it quick, I just decided not to do any of those and proceeded in making the stand. I used the octagon that we've cut earlier and cut two parallel lines like this. I secured it in place using tape and now using glue gun I will just attach this uh, frame part to the stand. And yes there you go our frame is ready. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye.